A-I-T-A-H, for telling my S-I-L. I don't want to get married because I fear having to raise my husband like a child and causing a massive family fight that has basically ruined vacation. Edit. I called and changed my number. I can't believe I even did it. I feel high on life RN for real. I deleted all my social media too, and I am going to make new tomorrow, but tonight I'm going off for drinks to celebrate. Thank you all for the words of wisdom. Also, I am moving closer to my business. Fuck this noise. I got roped into spending time with family this week for vacation. It went belly up day one when their kids ruined some of my stuff. So I got a hotel room and agreed to meet them places. I just need my own space. Well, things have been tense and they asked to meet this morning to talk about the issues. To explain from the start, I also broke up with my ex of six years several months ago, for which they are still giving me a lot of crap despite the fact that he was abusive. My SIL is the worst, and she keeps saying I am frozen in life, and I am not going to move forward, but rather live selfishly. She also implies that I am single because I am autistic, and has said I need to decide if I am disabled or if I am like everyone else. I don't really get this mindset. I have an apartment, I have several jobs, I take care of myself, I just don't have a man, and I don't want one. Lastly, she has a huge issue with me having a part-time gig where I am a DM for money, and the fact that I collect nicer Lego sets and other things she sees as kid things. But I don't see where it matters if I take care of myself and my home. Plus, my brother, her husband, collects Pokemon cards and she has nothing to say to that. All of my sisters and mothers are very bothered by me being single and 30, but I don't see their lives and want it. We live in a very traditional area, and they are all a part of a traditional religion. They raise their husbands. Their husbands cannot clean, cook, change a diaper, hold a baby. They are all the type of men that will eat in the living room and leave their dirty dishes on the coffee table, or leave their clothes besides the dirty clothes basket. My Essil's husband, my brother, and all my sister's husbands will literally not lift a finger at home. They won't even make their own plates or open their own beers. They are weighted on like kings. Most of my sisters and my SIL work, and none of their husbands work labor jobs. But the second they enter the house, they say, I worked, I can't do anything. Then their wives that also worked do everything. My sister told me the other day that she hasn't read a book or watched a TV show in years because she doesn't have time with their five kids and him refusing to help. That sounds like hell to me. I've spent many nights on the phone with one of them sobbing that they are so overworked and they are starting to resent or even hate their husbands. Well, this morning when we met to talk it out, they started about how I need to grow up. I need to start dating again. I need to be more involved with them. That it is embarrassing that they are all married with kids and I am single. That I wasn't sweet enough to my ex who was abusive. That I will never have kids unless I rush that I live my life in a bad way. I pointed out that they call me all the time crying and upset because their husbands are useless and that they fight with their husbands all the time and end up with them or their husbands storming out at least once a week. Then I said that I do not want to live a life full of fighting and serving. I don't want to raise a kid. I sure as hell am not going to raise a man. That my version of hell would be not being able to relax after working as much as I do because I would have a husband at home that I am raising like a child. This went over like a block of cement. I'm not even sure what was said because everyone was so upset and yelling at a million miles per hour. I know my SIL said I have no right to judge families when I am not in one, and I can see that, but I still think I had to stand up for myself. I got overwhelmed with everyone yelling so I walked out, and after I got a bunch of texting saying, go home, we don't want you here, and my SIL said, I don't want you around my kids, then I got blocked by basically everyone but one sister who said, just go home, I will talk to them but you need to grow up. It is the adrenaline probably, but I feel sick and shaking and like I am going to be ill. I feel extremely guilty. Did I cross a line? Am I totally wrong? 